Today's video is supported by Tops. Stick around to the end to find out how you can download their latest trading card app. Maurizio Pochettino has been in charge at Paris Saint-Germain since early January, and the Champions League evisceration of Barcelona is his most successful result to date. Pochettino developed a reputation at Southampton and Tottenham as a high-pressing, attack-orientated coach, and he's inherited a gifted playing squad that seems to suit his game methodology. So how is Pochettino moulding PSG, and what has he changed? Under Thomas Tuchel, PSG pressed heavily. Tuchel was tactically flexible, using a variety of formations, but he was generally consistent in preferring four at the back. He played a positional style in which the fullbacks pushed high, players were encouraged to occupy spaces between the lines, and Neymar, the club's record signing, was invited to drop off and use his ability to beat defenders. Under Pochettino, those star players might present a challenge. He is a domineering personality who demands total loyalty, and his success at Tottenham was predicated on developing younger, more pliable players and maximising their potential. At PSG, his group is clearly very different. In the past, Pochettino has proven intolerant of ill-discipline and quick to ostracise players who don't toe the line, which is to say nothing of his punishing training schedules. The former Southampton midfielder Jack Cork once said that a player needs two hearts to play for Pochettino. Daniel Osvaldo, the former forward, was even more descriptive. He makes you suffer like a dog, and at the time, you hate him for it, he remembered. But by the Sunday, you're grateful because it works. Well, time will tell if PSG superstars agree. Pochettino has consistently favoured a 4-2-3-1. He wants his players to press high and he favours a back four as it offers the most natural pitch coverage both horizontally and vertically, while retaining its solidity even as players push out to press. Pochettino's mid and low blocks look like a 4-4-2 with the 10 pushing up to support the striker as the first line of defence, while if a fullback is dragged out of position, a midfielder will drop off to cover. There is a concerted effort to push the opposition out wide, where darting presses from the wide players, backed by a central midfielder, look to smother the opposition and deny passing lanes in field. Typically, Pochettino's sides defend in short bursts of vigorous activity before falling back into their defensive shape. In attack, Pochettino generates a lot of width from the fullbacks, while building possession from the back and having players dropping in between the lines to manufacture passing options for the deeper players. Further forward, the number 10, when used, is less of a playmaker and more of an aggressive runner past the striker, who would often be encouraged to drop off. This was the basis of Deli Alli's partnership with Harry Kane at Spurs. Forward players were also encouraged to drift wide for flat, driven switches of play from one flank to the other, intended to unleash an advancing fullback on the far touchline. You see, this kind of movement meant that previous Pochettino teams rarely had a genuine focal point in attack, relying instead on rotations, with the wide attackers moving in field and coming short or making runs behind, while the striker and the 10 were also versatile. At their best, Tottenham would produce a measured build-up from deep before short combinations speed would free runners beyond the defensive line, while the fullbacks maintained width and offered options on the overlap. Now, there are a few similarities between the two coaches' styles of play, in particular the use of fullbacks, the pressing and the attacking rotation. This is not surprising. Pochettino had been influenced by positional play, but as someone who learned from Marcelo Bielsa, has a greater emphasis on aggressive pressing than some positional play coaches. Tuchel is from the German pressing school, but has adopted possession-based positional play perhaps more than any other German coach. Now, Pochettino is already putting his stamp on PSG, while benefiting from the fact that certain facets of his style already suit the squad. In terms of systems, he's stuck with a four-man defence, but used a 4-4-2, a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-3-3. Leandro Paredes and Marco Verratti have been crucial, allowing PSG to progress the ball centrally in the first phases of build-up, which creates space in the wide areas. When fit, Neymar has also had a role here, dropping off quite deep to threaten with the ball at his feet, or as a complement to the other attacking players, with balls through or over the defence or into wide positions. This then results in a lot of pullbacks low across the box, which is something Pochettino has clearly emphasised. PSG have also been attacking more directly, 
playing more progressive passes and with a slightly quicker rhythm than the side coached by Tuchel. Whether that's truly a tactical shift or just a symptom of how performance is tailed off before his sacking is hard to say, but it is noticeable. At their least effective, Tuchel's teams can be quite sterile in possession, and it appears that Pochettino has targeted that tendency, encouraging more direct, incisive and, ultimately, riskier football. And that suits the forward line, where Riccardi has worked well as a focal point in the box, but around whom the other attacking players can be positionally fluid. Pochettino's solid midfield base of two or three affords cover and can get the ball quickly towards players like Mbappe, who is also thriving under Pochettino on the right or left flank. When a new coach takes over, it's hard to say how much effect they have unless there is a drastic tactical shift, which is increasingly unlikely at the top level of European football anyway. There are clearly some similarities between Tuchel and Pochettino, which have smoothed his transition into the job, but his emphasis on a slightly more direct style has yielded benefits, not least in the destruction of Barcelona at the feet of Mbappe. The early signs are positive for Pochettino, but this is a job with a lot of pressure and heavy expectations. Pochettino's tactics and style of play will only be one element of what causes him to succeed or fail. Today's video was supported by Tops. Tops are best known as a leading producer of those cool collectible sport-themed trading cards. And now they're introducing the Tops Kick Card Trader app. There are new football cards available every day, including free daily bonus packs. You can trade with fans around the world, anytime, anywhere, and you can also complete missions to unlock special content. Follow your fellow collectors and create nifty card wish lists and trade lists too. You can even follow us by searching for Tifo Alley in the app. Unlock a world where you can celebrate the nostalgia of collecting and trading football cards, but with the added bonus of opening new packs every day. So, bring your collection to life with Tops by clicking the link in the description and downloading the app today. Thank you for watching today's video.